I banned my ex from my party, now my family's upset with me. This is a complex situation, and I have dyslexia, so I'll try to explain it clearly. If anything is confusing, please feel free to ask. I, F20, am turning 21 on Monday, and I've been planning this party since my last birthday. I've always wanted a big celebration, but growing up, my family didn't have a lot of money. So, I started working before my 20th birthday and have saved up to host a big event this year. Maybe not the smartest financial move, but it's something I've always dreamed of. I rented a venue, hired entertainment, arranged for a drink service, etc. I started dating Richard, yes, there's a reason I chose this name. When I was 18, he was two years older than me, but we were in the same course at university. Richard was my first boyfriend, and after a few months, he was practically living at my parents' place with me. Just after my 20th birthday, we moved into a place of our own, which I paid for since Richard wasn't working. My parents and family became very attached to Richard. So when Richard broke up with me, he ended up moving back in with my parents. This happened about six months ago. Shortly after our breakup, Richard announced that he was now dating my younger brother, Jude, who had just turned 16. This made me feel deeply uncomfortable. I thought my parents would feel the same way and would ask Richard to leave, but they didn't. Instead, they fully supported the relationship. When I tried expressing how unsettling I found the situation, they dismissed me, accusing me of being unsupportive and jealous. They said Jude was old enough to make his own decision, and I was just being petty. I ended up calling Richard an inappropriate term, and my family asked me to leave for causing a scene. Since then, I've avoided being around Richard as much as possible. It's been heartbreaking, as I was very close to Jude before all of this. He used to visit me often, and we would go out together. But since he started dating Richard, it feels like he's distanced himself from me. My family has been excited about my birthday party because they've all been involved in planning it. But yesterday, I sent a message in our family group chat, maybe not the best idea, but I didn't know where else to say it, stating that Richard is not allowed at my party and that if he shows up, I will ask him to leave. I don't want him there, and I don't want to see him. This is partly because he's my ex, but mostly because his presence makes me very uncomfortable. I can't understand how my family is okay with having him around. My parents and Jude responded by saying that if Richard isn't invited, they won't attend either. They called me selfish and accused me of jealousy. Jude then sent me a string of harsh messages, calling me every name he could think of. As the argument continued, Jude accused me of putting my own feelings above those of the family. He said I was making a big deal out of the situation and that he didn't understand why I was so hung up on Richard. I tried explaining that it wasn't just about him being my ex but about the discomfort I felt regarding their relationship. Jude, however, wasn't willing to listen. He told me to get over myself and accused me of being bitter. His words really hurt. I hadn't realized Jude saw me this way, and hearing it out loud felt like a punch to the gut. I started to question myself, wondering if maybe I was overreacting and letting my emotions cloud my perspective. I was hoping he might try to understand my feelings, especially since we had been so close. But now I feel like the outsider, as if I'm the one breaking the family apart. The hardest part is, I genuinely feel guilty. It feels like I'm forcing my family to choose between me and someone they care about, even if he is my ex. I keep wondering if this is all my fault, if there's something I could have done differently. Instead of looking forward to my birthday, I'm dreading it. I wanted this party to be a joyful event, but now I'm left wondering if it's even worth it. I don't want to hurt anyone, especially Jude, but I also feel like I can't just ignore my own feelings. I'm honestly so torn.